Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again, joined by Mr. Mini K as well. So today I want to go ahead and theorycraft, or I kind of just, I guess, run an idea down by you guys with the current build that I want to try out. I had a lot of fun in my cast on crit character, and I'll probably still play it a little bit here and there, but it's just not really my style. Um, I don't know what it is about cast on crit, it just... <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't really like it too much. Like, I, I mean, I enjoyed it for the time being, and then there was just a lot of things I didn't really like, like little inconsistencies here and there. And um, I don't know, but overall, it was a it was a solid character, and I know it could easily clear majority of T15 content, potentially even bosses. Um, I don't know about Shaper. I know that there was a guy who did it with Shaper, so I'm sure you could be done. I think though, I'll just stick to my low life RF for doing Shaper specifically. Um, but anyway, this is the new character I kind of was, uh, I guess, theory crafting a little bit about, and it's going to be Crit Incinerate. And you'd ask yourself why, and the answer to you is, I like trying to go on, uh, kind of going out of my comfort zone. I guess with the with the, the remaining money or the currency that I have in this league, I'm just going to go to funding kind of creative ideas, um, and this is definitely one of them. So I told myself, you know, I don't really see people playing Incinerate too much anymore. There are quite a few fire skills being used, but I don't really see Incinerate being used too much, and AoEs kind of got fucked, to be completely honest, so I wanted to move to something more projectile-based, and I decided, well, I've never played Incinerate, so let's try it out. So, the reason behind going Assassin Incinerate is because the skill originally has a 0% base crit. It's not that it can't crit, it's not like you have Resolute Technique that says you cannot crit, it's just the skill has no crit on it, it has 0 so you have to increase the critical strikes, or basically you have to buff it up. So by using a critical strikes gem, I believe it's 1.9 to the base. So that means critic your incinerate now has a 1.9 base crit. By going assassin, you get a node called deadly infusion. And I'm going to go ahead and show you specifically what deadly infusion does. Is you gain base critical chance per power charge. So we'll have 8 power charges in our build. That's 4 base crit plus the 1.9, so I believe that's 6.9 base crit on my incinerate up from 0%. Then you scale in all your power charges because you get, you know, 400% increased crit chance from your 8 power charges plus your crit on the tree. And then you can, you know, scale up to even more and use Assassin's Mark and whatnot. Uh, and then you have more gimmicks like, for example, Assassinate. So when targets are on low life, you roll your critical strike twice against them or diamond flask basically you know is lucky so you have all sorts of different things um you know with increasing and enhancing your crit so by going assassin and i guess more importantly let me show you guys how to get eight power charges really fast so you get three power charges on the tree so you have three base plus three is six then you get an additional one from Alira in Merciless as a banner award, so that's seven. And the eighth one is going to come from a unique called Void Battery. Void Battery reduces your spell damage, but gives you an implicit of up to 40, 20% 20 cast speed, that's very good for Incinerate, uh, global critical strike chance where a crit build, very good, max mana just helps deal with mana problems, plus one power charges, and then 25 increased spell damage per power charge, which is 200 spell damage. So with this alone, we get 240 minus the 80, I believe, if that's how it gets reduced off. And then you still have 160%, um, un unless this works differently, then I don't really know off the top of my head. But anyway, you get the plus one power charge, global crit, cast speed. There's a lot of good stuff to get from it in general. Um, and if I don't like that, I could use like a Doriani's Catalyst or something, but and that would give me access to shield charge. But for now, we're going to focus with this. The other interesting thing is... In this setup, I'm able to run Warlord's Mark along with uh, Projectile Weakness on Blasphemy. Projectile Weakness says that monsters take increased damage from projectiles. So I can show you what it looks like right... Where is it? Here? Or just kidding, is it here? Here we go. Projectiles have an additional 50% chance to pierce. That doesn't matter. Hits on cursed enemies have a chance to knock back. That's actually very good for Incinerate. And then cursed enemies take increased damage. So I actually wasn't sure if the knockback would properly work. And if it didn't work, I still thought, oh, well, it's still good to use anyway. But it actually does work, which is really cool. And I'm sure a bunch of you guys know this who actually play Incinerate. So I don't really have good cast speed right now. But it still has the ability to knock back, which is pretty cool. Because as you scale more and more cast speed, you have an increased chance of knocking targets back. And the reason why this is good is if you're fighting against melee targets or breaches, you're just adding a little, little bit of push 
uh, to what's going on. So it just puts a little bit of distance between you and the monsters. And of course, when you're when you're using Incinerate, you're standing still. So that's why we're also using Arctic Armor. So this tree gives us 30% reduced mana reservation, which puts us at like 92% mana, 8% uh, being unreserved. And I could use like an Enlighten in there to get it to like 88 or 86, depending on how much mana I'm gonna need to cast Incinerate. So Warlords gives us Leech, which we're gonna need for our character. It also gives us Mana Leech. It gives us Endurance Charges. We've got Arctic Armor up as well, along with Flask Effect for like, you know, a Basalt. So the character should be reasonably uh, tanky. I do believe as well that Arctic Armor will help counteract my own Reflect, because if I'm damaging a target, I'm standing still, which means I'm taking reduced fire damage. So that's something pretty cool to think about as well. But other than that, I really couldn't tell you guys much else of the character, because I've never played it before. Um, the other thing I could tell you is that this incinerate that you see right now, the incinerate that I'm going to use on my character will probably be to like right here because I have an additional like 20% prod speed. So I think that's more than enough to just clear maps uh, perfectly fine. And then of course for bosses I can just remove GMP and put in like slower prod. Uh, I think slower prod would be the ideal choice. Or pierce if I wanted to use pierce just for the multiplier because I believe it'll work still. Anyway, though, that's pretty much about it. I just wanted to keep you guys updated with what's going on. Uh, if you guys want to see the new room that I'm in, I can just give you guys a little glance of what we're working with. And a lot of this will be changed up, but this is the current master bedroom. There's also a really cool storage space up there. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do up there, but I want to fucking live up there because it's OP, dude. Anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. And remember... If you like the video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.